Where is all the power going? Yes, that's the question that I've been asking when using my RV because I seem to be losing power and I don't know why. Hello and welcome back to Gears and Tech. You guys have seen our RV segments where we got a new RV and we're testing it out and showing you guys all the cool things along the way. But one problem we've had recently was when we were dry camping where we don't have power and we don't have water and we don't have any service of any sort. We have a 100 amp hour lithium battery and a 200 watt solar panel on the roof. So we've been losing a lot of power and the batteries actually went flat. And that raised two problems for me that we're gonna try and solve today. The first problem obviously is where is all the power going? So we have a charge controller that we can see how much power is going into the battery, but we can't really see how much power is coming out of the battery. We have no idea how much power we're losing. So we're gonna look at a shunt and we're gonna explain what a shunt does and the specific shunt that we've purchased. But when you do have your batteries low, what do you do? So in the old days, what I would do is hook up jumper cables from my truck to my battery and just clip them on, run the truck for an hour. It would charge the batteries up and it would allow me to power the trailer off of the truck. No big deal, right? Well, with lithium batteries, it's not quite that simple. And it's something that you maybe didn't even know about. And we're gonna show you how to solve that problem today as well. So let's start with the shunt. First of all, what is a shunt? Basically, a battery shunt installs at the RV battery itself. It installs on the negative wire that goes from the battery to the RV. It can measure how much current is leaving the battery and how much current is coming into the battery. So if you were charging from solar power, for example, your solar system would tell you how much power it thinks it's putting into the battery, but if the trailer is consuming a bunch of that power, you may think you're putting in 10 amps of power, for example, when really your trailer is using 12 amps of power and you would never ever actually charge the battery. And that's where a shunt would come in because it would tell you that you are pulling two amps of power from the battery, even though the solar panel is providing 10 amps of power. So you would know at that point that your trailer is pulling 12 amps of power. It'll also tell you what the battery voltage is and it will monitor your battery voltage over time to give you a complete picture of the state of the battery in your RV at any given point. The really good ones also have data logging, which is what we're gonna check out today. Now this one comes in a box. It's a white box and it says Victron Energy Smart Shunt 500 Amp Waterproof Smart Battery Monitor. So I basically just told you everything you need to know. Here's the quick unboxing. I haven't looked at this thing yet. And there is our shunt. And here is our instructions on the shunt. And that's it, that's all that's in there. Now, as I said, you take the negative cable off of the battery, put it on here, and then you have a small jumper that installs from here to the battery itself. And then this little guy right here is a waterproof controller that measures the current that's getting pulled through here, so all of the draw off of the battery, but also it's got a battery connector so that it can monitor the voltage of the battery, and it has an auxiliary. And this also, because it is from Victron Energy, it supports their VE Direct Complete system. Now, I don't use that system because this also has Bluetooth connectivity. So if you have the Victron Energy app, this will show up on the app and you can monitor everything on there. My solar controller is also a Victron Energy and that's why I decided to go with this. Now there are other brands you can go with. There are much cheaper brands. This one is not the cheapest. It's not the most expensive. It slots nicely in the middle. This particular one I got is fully waterproof and that way I can install it on the outside of the trailer and I don't have to put it inside a waterproof housing. I think I'm gonna install it inside the waterproof housing, but I'm not sure. I don't really wanna go inside, so I probably won't, but we'll find out in the install video. Today I wanna just show you guys what the product is. Now it also comes with this, which tells you how to connect it all up. I'm assuming, I haven't opened this up, so I don't know, but it has instructions saying, here's how to install it, here's a QR code that you can scan, the install is fairly basic. There's not a whole lot to it. If you've been around RVs, you probably know how the install works, 
But if you haven't, then check out our install video because we'll walk you through exactly how we did it. And that leads us to our second problem. You remember I said that we would put the jumper cables on the battery and we tried to charge it up. Now, here's the thing. A properly charged lithium battery could read as high as 14.4 volts. It depends which state it was at off your solar charger or off of the shore power when it was last charged. It might read as low as 13.6 volts and that is still a 100% charged lithium battery. Contrast that to the old lead acid batteries. They read only 12.6 volts at full charge. And just for comparison, a 12.6 volt lead acid battery, the old deep cycle batteries that we've run for years and years and years, at 12.5 volts, it has a 90% charge. At 12.5 volts, a lithium battery is at like 10% charge. Now, GAMS GO. Are you paying too much for Netflix, Spotify, Disney Plus, Crunchyroll, Duolingo, Canva, or Adobe? GAMSGO has you covered with premium shared subscriptions for a fraction of the price directly from the distributor. Yes, GAMSGO is the shared premium experience that you've been looking for that saves a ton of money. I personally use GAMSGO for my Netflix, my Spotify, my Disney Plus, and my Crunchyroll subscriptions, and I have saved tons of money by switching to GAMSGO. Switching to GAMSGO is as easy as clicking the link in the description or up in the title card, which will take you to the main GAMSGO website, select the services that you're looking for, and buy them. But to show you how easy it is, we're gonna take 30 seconds and we're gonna sign up for Netflix. So we've clicked the affiliate link and I'm gonna click purchase now on Netflix. Now we have an option to buy three months or six months. I'm gonna buy a six month membership. I'm gonna say activate auto renewal because you don't wanna miss out anyway. Now in my case, I only need one profile. That means that I get one of the five included shared profiles with my Netflix account and I can install it on one device in my home. Do you have multiple devices in your home? You might want to switch to the five profiles option, which also unlocks multiple devices so that you can use all of your profiles across multiple devices. But in my case, one profile is plenty. Now this is the most important step. It's gonna say, do you have a promo code? Yes, I do. And the promo code is GEARS. We're gonna apply our promo code and it's gonna say, this is a valid promo code. We're gonna click to go to payment and then we're gonna enter in all of our details. This is a one-time payment of just $21.26. That is crazy cheap for premium Netflix on one device with one profile. I'm going to pay now. I'm gonna enter my credit card information and that's it. Once you've paid, you get immediate access to Netflix and it's as simple as logging into your GAMSGO account, getting the username and pass key, and then going to legit Netflix. Now it's gonna immediately say, well, who is this? Now I am account number three, Gears and Tech. And it's gonna ask for my pin code because I locked this down. Once I have my pin code in, now instantly I am in the full premium Netflix experience. This gives me HD Netflix, I can download it, and it's that simple. And it works the same on all your other favorite streaming platforms. This is truly an amazing deal, you don't wanna miss it. Click the link down below to grab your deal. The battery in your vehicle is the same as the RV battery. So it's reading 12 and a half volts at full charge. When you clip those jumper cables on, they can charge the battery up to about 13, maybe 13.2 if you're lucky, but 13.2 volts is only somewhere between 40 and 60% charge for a lithium battery. So it's actually almost impossible to bring up a lithium battery to full charge using jumper cables and your truck. So that's where this new problem came in. How do you get those batteries back where they need to be? That's where something like this comes in. And before I tell you about it, I wanna do a quick unboxing of it. So this particular one comes from Renogy. They are a very well-known company when it comes to solar power, battery power, RV, and all kinds of tech like that. So it's, it's a trusted name at a price that is pretty friendly to your wallet. So it comes with some Renogy performance stickers, a warranty card. It does come with a manual, it tells you how to set it up, how to hook it up. Now, setup and hookup is not too difficult, but I have heard reports that it's not as straightforward as what some people like, because this one does not 
auto detect the battery type. So you have to manually set it. And that's one of the reasons why it's cheaper. Then we get to the product itself. And finally, the clue of what this is, this is a 20 amp DC to DC battery charger. Now I know this sounds awfully ridiculous, but that side said output, this side says input. So what you do, quite simply, hook this up to your truck somehow, some way. If you wanted to, you could put jumper cables on the end of this thing, like cut it off, put the wires on there and then have jumper cables. So you can just clip it onto the battery of your truck. And then this side connects directly up to your lithium battery. If you set it up properly, there's some dip switches here where you tell it, I have a lithium battery or I have lead acid battery or I have AGM batteries or gel batteries or sealed batteries or whatever. In my case, I have lithium batteries. What this will do, it will take the 12 and a half volts from my truck coming in. It will pump that up to the 14.4 volts that I need to fully charge the lithium batteries. And because it puts out up to 20 amps of power in my 100 amp hour battery, it will take roughly five hours to charge that thing from completely dead all the way to full. Hopefully you have a pretty good solar panel system that's already trickle charging the battery throughout the day. And when the sun sets, you only need to run this thing for 30 minutes to an hour to give it that extra little bit to top it off before you go into the evening, especially on cloudy days. Now there is no replacement for a properly specced solar panel system. And if you are constantly running out of power, I strongly encourage you to look at solar panels first. But if you're in a cloudy area and you just run out of room on the roof to run all those solar panels, this can be beneficial in a pinch. The way that I'm hooking this up, so I have a towable RV, I have to hook my truck up to this. So I'm actually hooking this up on the trailer side and my truck provides 12 volts of power through the seven pin trailer wiring. I'm going to connect this up to the seven pin trailer wiring and then the other end to the battery so that while I'm driving, I can actually charge the battery up on my way to wherever it is that I'm going because I'm gonna actually be on the road a lot, especially on this road trip that I have coming up. So driving four or five hours, I have number 10 wire, which is good for 30 amps. So I can easily provide the 20 amps that this needs through the factory wiring of my vehicle and get those batteries completely topped off and have enough extra to actually power the trailer. So my fridge is a 12 volt fridge. So it'll keep that fridge charged up all the way without any extra load on the vehicles. I'm gonna probably add some jumper cables to this so that in a pinch, if I needed to, I can pull the cables out, clip it onto any donor vehicle and boost the batteries back up easily uh, whenever we like. So it's quite the setup. These are some of the products that we're really excited to explore in future videos. Now, some of you may have wrongly assumed that this was a sponsored video. I actually bought these items with my own money. So this is not a sponsored video. You don't have to run out and buy this. You don't have to run out and buy that. I will put links in the description where you can get them. They are Amazon links. I do get a small bit of money just for sharing these with you guys. It's not, certainly not big bucks. So you don't have to feel bad clicking those links and supporting this channel so that we can continue to explore some of this really cool technology, especially helping out those of you who are curious about how to make your RV function a whole lot better. Hey, thanks for watching all the way to the end of this video. We hope you enjoy the content in this video and we'd love to have you come back. Consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. And for those subscribers who are looking for that extra special thing that you can do to support this channel, consider joining our members group. That's where we're building this community, the Gears and Tech community, where we can all enjoy content together you'll get special perks, which we'd love for you to check out by clicking the link down below. For those of you who are just happy to watch the video, that's okay too. You can check out some of our other content right over here, where we've got some previous videos that have already been uploaded and enjoyed by many of our viewers already. We do hope to see you again. This has been Gears and Tech. 